Hi there, welcome back to Witchfinders Gaming Vault and today I'm going to be looking at a Nintendo GameCube game called Universal Studios Theme Park Adventure. It's quite the mouthful isn't it? Let's take a look at the fact file for this one. So Universal Studios Theme Park Adventure was released in 2002 in Europe. It was released a year earlier elsewhere. It's published by Chemco and it was developed by Naya Digital Works. The price I paid for it was £4.84 and it's a very recent purchase. I only bought it about a month or so ago. And and the current going rate for the game on eBay, it's about that price, obviously, it's since I only just bought it. You can get it for around three to eight pounds. Now this game is meant to be awful, it got terrible reviews when it was released, but I am a big fan of theme parks and Universal Islands of Adventure in Florida is probably my favourite theme park of all time, of all the ones I've visited. So when I found out this game existed, I had to give it a go. I'm expecting it to be awful, but maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised by it. Let's take a look at it and find out. Here's the packaging for the game then, and they're not making a big thing about the title because it's right down the bottom here in a tiny little font. There it is, Universal Studios Theme Parks Adventure it says there, but on the spine it says Theme Park Adventure, so I'm not sure which is the right one. But anyway, you've also got the typical GameCube packaging with the logo at the top there, big Universal Studios arch with some familiar Universal properties on the front cover as well. So you've got the car from Back to the Future, the dinosaur from Jurassic Park and E.T. as well. As I just said, the spine says it's Universal Studios theme park adventure. So we'll find out when we load it up which one's right. And on the back, well, it's not giving much away. It just says it's a VIP ticket to theme park adventure, which is pretty much what the title of the game says. There's a couple of screenshots there, one of the arch and one of, well, I'm not sure what that is. I think it's a dinosaur and Woody Woodpecker. Uh, and you can see that it's two players alternating and anything else to pick out from this is a picture of Woody Woodpecker again, some more screenshots there of some of the games contained within it. And it says the game is not a true representation of Universal Studios theme parks, but an interactive game based on Universal Studios theme parks and some of the characters featured are not associated with the parks. Random. So it gives you nothing about the game other than it's not really about Universal theme parks. So weird. Here's a look at the little GameCube disc then, and I think that logo on the disc is pretty much the same size as the logo on the front cover, but there we go. Anyway, moving on to the instruction booklet. It says Universal Studios Theme Park Adventure at the top, but then it says Universal Studios Theme Parks Adventure at the bottom. So yeah, nice and consistent. Same image as the front cover otherwise. Let's have a quick skim through this. It tells you how to use a GameCube controller. I think we know. Uh, there's a contents page there. Your ticket to movie magic, it says. Go behind the scenes of Universal Studios theme park adventure on a wild stamp collecting contest. Sounds enthralling. Grab your stamp collection card and go where no Universal Studios park visitor has gone before. What? On the rides about the various films that are in the Universal Studios? Very strange. You'll see exciting Universal Studios attractions like E.T. Adventure, Jurassic Park the Ride and do stuff that nobody has ever done before. But those rides are there. or Yeah, both of those rides are still there in fact. So weird. <laughs> anyway, moving on. It's got the uh, stuff about getting started, let's move on from that. Um, and there's a map there of the theme park, eight amazing attractions await you in the theme park, uh, how to use the GameCube controller again. You've got to collect stamps as has also been mentioned, but you've also got to collect letters that spell out Universal Studios. You can talk to everyone, including helpful park employees. Uh, you can pick up items, you've got to get hats and there's also an e-pass which I guess is like a fast track and other items can be picked up as well. It's got the prices for all the hats. We'll get into this when the game loads I'm sure. There's a menu screen with items, stamps and the ability to save the game. Attraction mode is something, we'll get into that later again. And then it gives an overview of the different games that are included. So we've got E.T. Adventure, Jaws, uh, Animated Celebration, don't know what that is, uh, 15 Puzzle some kind of sliding puzzle game yeah moving on back, uh, back to the future the ride wild wild west oh my god there's a game based on wild wild west one of the worst films i've ever seen uh jurassic park the ride one of the best films i've ever seen and the jurassic park ride at the park is amazing great water ride but uh, that doesn't look like it's going to be a water ride and that would make a lot of sense anyway uh, yeah anyway moving on very big instructions for that one there's also backdraft uh, water world this attraction is a demonstration of the climactic scene of water world okay and uh, then we're moving on to other language instructions so yeah very hefty instructions which i can't really be bothered to read but you've got an overview of them let's load the game up and see what it's like so the game's loaded up and it's kicking off with an introduction and something's about to happen here we go it's the car from back to the future 
being driven by Woody Woodpecker, it would appear. And in the background is the music from Back to the Future, which is almost certainly going to earn me a copyright claim right from the start. And I'm expecting to get a few on this video because there's a number of movie themes included on it. Uh, so again, the intro is continuing, showing you some of the other characters you're going to encounter. There's a T-Rex from Jurassic Park, looking pretty bad for... And there's a shark from Jaws, looking pretty bad for uh, a 2002 game, I would think. Although, I don't know, maybe uh, the animated cutscenes, videos, whatever, were about this sort of standard at that point. I can't really remember. Uh, so then you get the Universal Studios Theme Parks logo, and then it says Universal Studios Theme Park Adventure. So still no consistency, let's just go with whatever it says there. And then you have to press Start to start, and you get three options, although one of those is greyed out. So you can have a new game, which is what I'm going to do. You can continue a save game if you've got one, which I haven't. And you can also access Attraction Mode, but you can only do that when you've played the game and unlocked all the mini-games. So I'm not going to be doing that. So New Game is my only viable option. Uh, I'll play on normal level. Uh, rumble feature, yeah, let's switch it on, why not? And then you have to enter your name. Now I have played through the game a little bit just to get an idea of what it's about, but uh, I didn't save that so I'm starting from scratch to show the game as you would see it if you'd never played it before. So put my name in. And then you get to pick a character. Um, all which are just kids in shorts for the most part, so let's go with this one. And then it starts loading the game up properly. So it begins with an unskippable intro, and you can see my character very excitedly running towards the big universal globe that's at the entrance to all the theme parks. With some generic sort of jazzy sounding music in the background. Hopefully we won't get a copyright claim on that. And eventually the character runs up to meet Woody Woodpecker and you get an, the introductory blurb about what you've got to do. So Woody Woodpecker is going to be your guide. Tells you about Universal Studios. Uh, today we're having a stamp collection contest which sounds enthralling. That's what I go to theme parks for, I don't know about you guys. So every attraction features special games. If you win a game you get a stamp. And yeah, you've got to start this by walking around the big. park. This place so is big, so try not lost. to get lost. <laughs> Have, fun. Have fun. Okay. Okay, so basically what you've got to do is walk around the park and find the attractions and then uh, play them. Earn points, which will get you stuff that you need to buy. You have to buy these hats to actually then give you access to the other rides. And then eventually when you've completed each ride, you get a stamp and that will complete the game. So uh, the first thing you have to do is go up and talk to this guy basically just giving you another thing to do which is to uh, collect all the letters that spell out Universal Studios also tells you you'll earn points this is what I've just been saying after you earn points be sure to talk to Woody uh, and the reason you do that I'll just go back and talk to him now just to show you is uh, if you've earned points it gives you the option to exchange your points I haven't got any but um, this is what you do you choose a hat and the hat gives you access to one of the rides so the cowboy one is for wild wild west the back to the future one is for back to the future the et ones for et the jaws ones for jaws and so on you get the idea no i don't want to exchange my points yeah okay okay so the first thing i've got to do is get a park map uh, and to do that i've got to go and talk to one of the employees uh, so the first thing you'll have seen is that the game is kind of made, the, the areas you're walking around are these kind of pre-rendered sort of almost photographs of the Universal Studios. They're not photographs I don't think, they're just badly pre-rendered things. And you walk around within them. So right now my character's right at the back uh, and you walk towards the front so the camera doesn't go with your character. Instead the camera goes with, um, with well it doesn't, it, it, it just stay, it stays static and you walk around. It kind of reminds me of a point and click. Um, which attraction should I go see now? So you can you can interact with various characters. Yeah, it's a little bit like a point and click where the landscape stays the same and you walk around it. Uh, so there's an employee here. Here's the entrance. Enjoy. Okay. But what's weird is that you walk around these things in a strange sort of order. Like you, you don't always walk 
you'll walk into the screen sometimes like as I've just done and then to get out of it you've got to walk down so it's kind of, kind of inconsistent let's talk to this guy maybe he'll give me the map do you have a cap you can enter some attractions whenever you yeah this is telling you about the hats again okay so I don't get the map from him so yeah it's quite laborious walking around these areas trying to find the people you've got to talk to so here's another employee maybe these have got the map come on then talk to me stamps are either red or blue yeah so this is the stamps you get when you complete an attraction uh, yeah where'd you get the map from this is weird as well here you can decide whether you want to change the uh, controller rumble feature so you can switch it on or off by this person who's holding a sign weird it's a weird game you can see him like holding a rumble rumbling controller there so where on earth do you get the map from I can't remember now this who's this person did you get a map if you don't have a map get one back at the park entrance well I was at the park entrance and no one offered me a map I've got to go back now heaven's sake guess that was just to give you an introduction to what you're doing but I mean backtracking like this is a little bit annoying see that's this is what happened to me the first time I played it and I assumed I just hadn't seen the person the first time so I had to backtrack but it seems you're forced to backtrack maybe this is the person that gives you the map now let's have a look Oh, stay still. Here's the entrance. No, nope, that's not going again. So you have to go all the way back to the entrance to get a map. Just, just give me the map in the first place. Who am I talking to then? Is it this person here? Of course. Okay. I don't know who I'm supposed to be talking to. Back to Woody Woodpecker. No, I don't want to exchange points for anything. I'm missing something already here. The last time I played it, the only time I played it before this, there was somebody there to collect the map from, and I don't know. No, surely you don't have to go right back to the park entrance. I don't remember doing that before. I'm sure there were on this screen where the universal globe is this is weird very frustrating right from the start there's no employee to get a map from have you got to just wait for them to wander onto the screen is it this person here are you having a good time no I'm not having a good time right now because I can't work out where to get the damn map from is it this one too much fun it's not too much fun for me I don't understand what's going on okay I'm gonna I'm gonna have to wander around and try and find the map but it's it's not going well so far so I came back to the point where someone said had you got a map and there's another person who says someone was handing out maps at the park entrance so I think that's what triggers the person appearing at the park entrance but come on I mean it, this is not barely a game it's just walking backwards and forwards uh, trying to get things that you should just be able to get right from the start so I'm gonna track all the way back again hopefully this time there'll be a person there with a map here we go so that person earlier that was just saying this is the entrance uh, has now given me a map I mean what can I say I guess it's like a point and click kind of thing but honestly that was terrible um, yeah so now I can press the X button and show the map and there it is so you can see the map the little dot at the bottom in the pink area is where I am at the moment uh, so you can see all the different rides or attractions that you can go and see Wild Wild West, Jaws, Waterworld, Jurassic Park, Backdraft, Back to the Future, the Animation, Celebration and E.T. Adventure so now I'm gonna go and try and actually play one of the games after going through all that rigmarole
So I've made my way into the park and to be fair it does kind of look like Universal Studios. The, the layout is very similar with the entrance sort of way where you've got all the buildings that have got the different sort of themed areas for things about movies and stuff like that. But finally I've made my way to E.T. Adventure. Uh, so I can see Woody Woodpecker in the background there. So I'm going to go and talk to him. There he is. And let's see what he's got to say. Do you want to enter E.T. Adventure? Do I want to experience the E.T. Adventure? You betcha. So, here we go. Welcome to E.T. Adventure! Woody Woodpecker's giving an overview e. of the game. We've got the, the E.T. theme the music from John Williams in the background. Cue another copyright claim, I imagine, on this video. So you can see there's just two controls there. A button pedals, B button brakes. Uh, and you basically got to ride your bike and take E.T. to the his spaceship, which is recreating the finale of the movie, I suppose. Hopefully I won't cry as much as I do when I watch that, though. Uh, so I can do wheelies. Land safely after a jump, move the controls, stick the controls left and right, right. To adjust the bike while in the air. Okay, so this the sounds like it's going to be a scrolling free. bike riding thing with ramps and things to jump off. Let's get on with it. Okay, nice logo to kick things off. It says push start, so let's do it. So this game was heavily criticised for some really bad graphics and I think you can see them here, they're very sort of foggy N64-esque graphics, definitely not the quality that you'd expect from a GameCube game. So away we go. And basically I'm just pedalling the bike, we've got boost pads, we've got ramps, I fell off the bike because I didn't land cleanly. So you've got to adjust your sort of landing position to make sure you land on both wheels got it right that time I guess. Ooh, what's that police car? Lots of police cars to avoid. So actually you can land correctly by just doing nothing at this point it seems. Ooh, no I landed wrong then. So it, I guess it's sort of like a game. Oh <laughs> I landed wrong. Um, so, sort of a bit like kickstart on the Commodore 64 but in 3D but not really in 3D. I suppose it's 3D in as much as you're moving up and down. But uh, yeah, every time I'm jumping over stuff, I'm just crashing, so it's not going well. So I've got five, oh dear, and yeah, you move up and down to move up, like left and right effectively, which is just kind of annoying. Uh, it's, it's a bit un unintuitive. I suppose I'll get used to it. Oh, every, every ramp I'm jumping over now, I'm just crashing. So yeah, I've got five minutes to get to the spaceship and already I've used one of those minutes up. There we go, I landed right that time. So I've got past the police cars and I'm now in the uh, in the deserty area I suppose all the like suburbs the paths going towards the forest I don't really know uh, so yeah it's very hard to land correctly on the wheels um, I mean the idea is not too bad I thought it was nice to land right there but um, it, the implementation is a bit clunky to say the least whoa I've got to avoid some rocks now doesn't pedal very fast, but I suppose it is a kid on the BMX, so... The music, by the way, is now not the E.T. music, it's just some generic sort of music. That could be an E.T., I suspect, but isn't. Oh, I hit a rock. Oh, I hit another rock. So I'm getting there, about halfway now, I've still got three minutes left. Oh dear. Okay, so you can do little wheelies over those logs. I'm getting there, slowly but surely. What's that? Oh, I think I think something exciting is coming up here. Oh no, I'm stuck. Why, why can't I get around? What's going on? Oh, okay, I've got to go around that way. Okay. Oh, blimey. Oh, well, that didn't go well. <laughs> I, I fell off a cliff with E.T. Oh, you, you can't go in the, the dark sort of green bit. You can only go on the left hand side or upper side. Oh, um, I got past it that time. Yeah. I'm just kind of pressing the button and hoping for the best, pe pressing the pedal button. So now I'm into the forest properly, having gone past uh, the, so oh I've gone through some quicksand here, having gone past the, an overview of uh, where um, Elliot lived from the beginning of the movie. So what's going on here, oh okay, E.T.'s finally come to our, my rescue and we're now flying past the moon with the classic theme song even slower than I think Elliot went with E.T. in the movie there. 
That was alright. That was quite neat. Oh, we're still going. Okay. Still got a bit of a way to go. Got two and a half minutes. So, hopefully, going to make it. I get the feeling this first level is fairly easy just to sort of introduce you to the concepts of the game. So, oh, I've got to drive along these uh, logs along the sides of the swamps there. Over the bridge. Still not quite there, but I'm getting there. I'm gonna make it. Oh, oh no, along the, oh no, get on that log. There's a little bit of skill involved in places, but it's pretty dull. I've made it. Clear. There we go. I made it. It's good that it shows your character, whichever one you chose, on the bike. At least a little bit of effort's gone in there. Um, an ET made from not that many polygons is saying goodbye and there we go it was completed not exactly enthralling but not terrible there we go I'm ranked top because no one else has played it let's get on and see what's next okay so back in the park and I've got my ET stamp I've got a red stamp which I think was a good thing I've got some points I'm not sure how many it did tell me I got some points uh, and what happens now um, well I've just tried to talk to Woody Woodpecker again and there's now a queue to get in I can't get in because there's too many people uh, yeah okay so so now what not, not entirely clear let's go for a wander and see what else we can see So I've just come into this area and Woody Woodpecker's there waiting, I'm going to talk to him in a minute, but I've just noticed on the floor this little gold thing, and that's one of the letters, uh, that was an S I think, it was, I don't know how it picks which S, but there's an S. So I've collected a letter, got some points, I think it was 100 points for that. So let's go and talk to Woody Woodpecker and see what's next. Hi. Try this trivia quiz contest, if you win, you can play two new mini games. Okay, sounds good to me. Do you really think you can correctly answer all my questions? Well, I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't. So, movie quiz. This is right up my alley. Let's see what sort of questions we get. You're going to take a knowledge quiz. Try to do your best. Yeah, okay. I think I think I can work out. It's going to be multiple choice, surely. Okay. According to Gilbert, how many dragons did Burn defeat in Dragonheart? No idea. Never seen it. Let's, let's, let's go with three. No, it was two. Which was the second Universal Studio theme park to open? I'm pretty sure the first one was Hollywood, so it's either Japan or Florida. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with Florida and I was right. Which dual sequel was showing at the cinema in Back to the Future 2? Oh, I think it was 19. It was. What was Imhotep's profession in the mummy? Oh, he was a high priest, I think. Yeah. Getting there. When Patch attended the university in Patch Adams, what was the name of his roommate? I've got no idea, I've never seen Patch Adams. It was Mitch. What was Helen's occupation in Waterworld? Also no idea, I've seen Waterworld once, but let's go with a nurse. No. Game over. Well, there we go, I couldn't complete the trivia quiz. Let's give it another go. After they discovered dryland and water, what did the hero do? Uh, built a house? No. Returns to the sea, okay. Lots of questions about films I don't know about here. So Dr. Henry Frankenstein made a monster. What did the monster want? A bride. The bride of Frankenstein. Oh, another water wheel question. Oh, I've got no idea. Oh, let's go with Helen. No, it was an Ola. Another question about the mummy? Oh, pretty sure that was Winston. Yeah. What was Evelyn? Oh, another question about the money. Mummy. Mummy. The money. The mummy. Yeah, I get it there. Yeah. Can't get my words out, but I got it right. The name of the hero's father in Backdraft. <laughs> Dennis? Oh, that was a lucky guess. I have seen Backdraft. Don't remember that. Who directed the birds? Oh, some good directors there, but it was definitely Alfred Hitchcock. Have I done it? No. Pseudonym for Marty in Back to the Future 3, it was Clint Eastwood. What did the mummy reanimate serve as his warriors? 
for the mummies. Wow. Another Back to the Future question, which is right up my alley. How many questions do we get? Wow. The first Tannen appeared in Back to the Future 3. What was his nickname? Mad Dog. When he was sick, what colour did he turn? How many questions do I have to answer? Oh, there you go. 12 is the answer. Or maybe I have to answer 10 correctly. I'm not sure. But there, I've done it. I've completed the trivia quiz. That's probably the best bit of the game. The best bit so far, anyway. So there we go. That's another stamp collected. Got a blue for that. Don't know why, but I've got a blue. Got 1600 points. Okay. Now what? Oh no. Okay, there's some more mini games to play there. I'm, I'm going to skip those. I want to go and play the the attractions based on the big uh, titles, the big movie titles. So E.T., um, Jaws, Jurassic Park, and what is going on here? I'm just going around in circles. Um, E.T., Jaws, Jurassic Park, and uh, Back to the Future. Those those are the ones I want to go and play. I don't know what's going on here. I can't I can't get out of this. Doesn't matter which way I walk, I end up back at the same place. Can I get out of the back here? It's so strange. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm going somewhere. Mel's driving. Okay. Let's see if we can find another. Um, no, I've gone back the way I came. Oh, the, the, the directional thing is terrible. There's another letter there though. Let's pick that up while I'm there. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and, try and find one of the other um, mini game things uh, and then we'll carry on. If I can ever find it, because I can't get off the screen that way. Or that way. Where do I go next? So after wandering around aimlessly for ages, I finally found another ride and it's Back to the Future the ride. Let's go and talk to Woody. Uh, you can't get in here because there are too many people. Okay. So I guess this is where I need the hats. Um, where do I get the hats from? I'm really not sure. Uh, I guess I've got to go back to the entrance and buy them off Woody Woodpecker because that's the only place I've seen him selling them. Well, what a pain that is. So I've got to work my way back to the entrance to the park to spend the points I've got. Which, by the way, you can see what points you've got by pressing the Z button. I've got 3,540 points, so it'll allow me to buy something, I think, based on the prices that there were at the beginning. Um, so yeah I guess I guess that's where I'm going back to the entrance which is just a huge pain fans having to backtrack all the way to the entrance to, to just get further in the game uh, I don't know who designed this but really it's, it's quite terrible so many edges of the screen you can't get off as well you know, walk down into that corner and be a speck where am I now oh my little speck right at the back of the screen I don't even know if I'm going the right way let's have a look at the map I'm vaguely going back towards the entrance. Oh, there's a shark. Oh, look, here's the entrance to the Jaws ride, but I can't get on that either. So I need to go and find the entrance and, uh, and go and buy some hats and things oh god this game oh there's a, a guy wants to talk to me here what's he want to talk to me about it doesn't look good if there's garbage lying around okay oh uh, uh, right okay so now there's some garbage to pick up off the floor there yeah I guess you get points for picking up garbage I think it did say that at one point also managed to pick up another letter there Still can't find my way out though. Where am I on the map now? No, I'm going further away. I'm going the wrong direction. Right. You've seen enough of this. I'll resume when I'm back at the entrance. Finally, so after walking around this maze of a theme park and being completely lost for about, I don't know, 15 minutes, I finally made it back to the entrance. What an annoying game. So uh, there's a guy here, an employee here, saying nobody can get in, but you can get an e pass so that you can skip the line at one ride 
Uh, so yeah, you can use it once to get into one ride. Yeah, great. And back to Woody Woodpecker. I picked up some more points along the way, by the way, for various things. So I should have enough points, hopefully, to get entrance to the two rides that I want to. I've got nearly 5,000 points. I need 2,500 for the Back to the Future cap. And 2,000 for the Jaws. Perfect. Let's get those two. Oh, so many questions. Oh, no, I've clicked the button too many too many times and quit out of it by accident. Yeah, okay. Is this okay? Yes, buy it. Yes, I do. Oh, for heaven's sake. It always gives you the negative option when you when you uh, get to the options. And I'm just trying to skip through the text as quickly as I can and uh, regretting it. Yes, I want to exchange stuff. Jaws car. Yes, I, I want it. Give it to me. Right. So now I've got the ability to enter three rides. I've got a cap to get myself into Jaws, a cap to get myself into Back to the Future, and an E-Pass that'll get me into Jurassic Park. That's all I wanted to do in the game. Those are the ones I wanted to see. I'm definitely not going to be playing through all the mini games, so let's go and focus on those ones. So I'm going to head all the way back, pick up my garbage while I'm there. Uh, when you pick the garbage up, eventually you can find a bin to drop it in and you get 20 points for each piece you've picked up. So not substantial really, um, but you know, may as well do something while I'm losing my way around this park again. So yeah, I'm going to head to uh, Jaws or Back to the Future or whichever one I get to first basically and, uh, and give that a go. Okay, so here I am at Jaws, let's go and give it a go. Can't enter this attraction because there are too many people. Oh, oh wait, you have an e-pass. You can enter in exchange for the pass, but you can only do it once. No, I want to use my hat. I must have to put the hat on somehow. Ah, okay, yeah, from the menu you can pick an item and Put the hat on, so we've got a nice shark hat on now. Back back out. And presumably now when I talk to him. Yeah, I can't get in. Too many people. Oh, the item you're wearing gives you unlimited access to this attraction. What do you want to do? Well, why wouldn't I want to go in? Let's go, let's get on with it. Don't fall overboard. So once again you get the instructions for the game, which is good, it saves you having to look at the manual. Uh, so basically, A button pick up a barrel and box, B button use items, uh, keep jaws away at all costs. Okay, I get the idea. You basically got to throw stuff at jaws, I think. Nice logo again on the start screen, Oh, nice. Jaws's mouth view and there's the boat so it's A to pick up B to throw Jaws is approaching the boat again not great graphics so uh, A to pick up the barrel so you can see the, the radar in the top right corner Jaws is the red dot presumably so he's going to come towards me some point and I've got to throw this barrel at him. Pressing B. Okay, yeah, a bit of the boat. Yeah, B didn't work. B didn't do anything. Let's, let's try again. Yeah, let's stay away from the back though. Okay, here, come, here he comes again. He's circling around the boat. He's coming at me. Throw a barrel. Oh, I hit him. Okay, so it's A. So the instructions on that intro screen is wrong. Uh, which is brilliant. Uh, okay, so basically I've just got to wait for him to approach the boat and then throw these barrels at him. Oh, missed him that time. You can see the damage being done to the boat. I guess when all those sections on the right hand corner, the, uh, the image of the boat, the overview, when they're all red, it's probably game over. So let's try and stop that from happening. Here he comes again. He's coming straight at me. No barrel. No, I missed it again. <laughs> Well, this is tedious. 
be good if you could rotate the camera to see him coming, but the camera rotates automatically. Okay, he's coming, he's coming. Fur barrel. Got him, there we go. Better. Much better. So slow, the, uh, the character's so slow to pick the barrels up. No sense of urgency. No, I've missed him again. Oh dear. Not looking good for the boat. Again, this has got some music from the movie, so probably get a copyright claim off. Oh, I missed it again. Uh, off YouTube or whoever owns George George, not George John Williams's uh, music. I was thinking of George Lucas then, but uh, but yeah, okay. Well, this is really boring. Come on. Right, he's coming. He's coming. Get him. No boat left. The boat is not well. I guess he's going to come to one of these two positions now, is he? That would be the obvious thing because they're the only pieces left. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's coming. He's coming. Game. Got him. Okay. At least I know which, which bits to defend now. It's a bit tedious though. Is this the best minigame they could come up with to represent Jules? Be okay if I get to blow him up with a tank of oxygen at the end. Here he comes. Here he comes. Got him. One more hit, maybe. Maybe two. Pick that box up. Save me. Yeah, well I can see why this game got the terrible reviews. I mean, the concept's quite fun, but navigating around the theme park is awful, and the, the mini games are just a bit poor as well, uh, so far at least. I mean, the ET one, yes, it did the job. This one is just dreadful, really. It's literally just throw a barrel at the right point when the dot comes towards him. Towards him. There we go. I've cleared it. That's it. Jules is adding off his swarm away. You don't even get to kill him. Never mind. The character's happy with the shark hat. I wonder if they ever sold those hats at the theme park. Well there we go. That's another stamp collected. Another blue one which means I haven't done particularly well. But I don't really care. I've got 720 points. Let's move on and try and find the Back to the Future ride uh, before my patience runs out completely with this game. So I've just spotted a little character wandering around here, so I'm going to interact with them if I can see them amongst all the other people. What happens here? Hi. I guess that was the person with the red trousers. Let's shake hands. Okay. What, what's happening? I don't really know what happened there. Oh, I've got some points. Shook hands with Splinter. Is it Splinter from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? That looks like... Is that Woody Woodpecker's wife or something? I don't know. Anyway, that was done. Picked up some garbage as well. Let's carry on. Clearly I was navigating around the park the wrong way compared to what I thought I was doing because I've now arrived at Jurassic Park. But let, that'll do. I can get into Jurassic Park with my E-Pass. So... What's going on now? Talk to this person? Nope. Okay, there's, I've just noticed there's a bin there and some garbage to pick up. So just to show you what happens when you put the garbage in the bin, you get, I've got 120 points, so I picked up six pieces of garbage. Where's this Jurassic Park ride then? Here we go. Okay, let's go and see Woody Woodpecker. Yeah, can't enter, it's full, blah, blah, blah. That's what being at theme parks is about. Everywhere's got a queue. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the pass. Yeah, I can only do it once. Yeah, let's do it. Don't get stomped on by a dinosaur. I shall try. Welcome to Jurassic Park. You're riding through the park. 
Keep an eye out for dinosaurs. Okay, so Jurassic Park car. overview. Um, there's a couple of the uses stick. of the shoulder buttons on this Let's one. Also the A button to shoot. Uh, hold down the A button to shoot a powerful beam to lock onto dinosaurs. So this is a shooting game by the sounds of it. And you can lock onto dinosaurs. Once again, we've got some more John Williams music in the background, which I suspect is going to result in another copyright claim. Definitely won't be earning any money from this video. That's for sure. Yeah, okay, let's get on with it. Okay, so here we go. I'm in the Jeep, I've gone through the gates of Jurassic Park. I'm sat in the back of the Jeep. Something is coming from behind. Something's coming from behind. Look, Very jerky cutscene. It's a T-Rex. Okay, we're starting big then, are we? Okay, so what's going on? Okay, so you've got to shoot at the T-Rex. You need to sit for the lock on, so hold down A. Oh, okay. Hold the right button. Look, I guess I shot the T-Rex successfully. I was expecting more from a T-Rex, to be honest. So you've got to hold down the buttons to hold on when she goes around the corners, it looks like. Or goes off-road. It does a bit of rumble at that point as well. Okay. Now what's happening? Nothing much. So you've got to control the crosshairs. It's basically a rail shooter. Here we go. Velociraptor. Okay, so you can lock on to the Velociraptors and shoot lasers at them. Quite boring so far. Not too challenging as yet. It looks like it's going to be a similar concept to Jaws, so you can see the damage to your... Um, Jeep being shown in the bottom right corner there, so when they do attack you and make contact, they're going to do some damage and run down the shields on the Jeep, it would appear. You can lock on some multiple targets at once if you're quick enough. Oh, that was the first bit of damage you got to me. It's very slightly changed colour, I think, there. Oh, Triceratops. I don't want to shoot those. They're not doing any harm, are they? Can I shoot them? Yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah, I get, I get points for killing the Triceratops. That's harsh. They're not doing any harm to me. Oh my god, there's hundreds of them all of a sudden. Jeez, a lot of that too, yeah. I've got loads of them on the horizon. Got more damage to one side of the Jeep. So, yeah, wow, I mean, what a weird game. It's just like shooting tons and tons of dinosaurs. I'm lucky on things I can't even see now. Clever. Is that it? Is that it for the Velociraptors? Don't know. How long does this go on for, I wonder? Ooh, Pteranodons, okay. This is going to be more challenging because they're going to fly at me. Ooh, shot one out of me there. Yeah, that's going to do some damage. Yeah, it's quite good that you can lock onto multiple targets. I don't know why I'm supposed to be killing all these dinosaurs. I guess to defend myself against them is the obvious answer. Um, so far, so good, but again, it's pretty tedious. It's just the same thing over and over again. It's better than Jaws. Not as a film, by the way. I think Jaws is better than the part. But um, as a game, it's slightly better, but not much better. Okay, so a bit more damage done, but I'm not doing too badly. No idea how long this goes on for. I feel like it's already out stage level, to be honest. The lock-on's good though. If you can 
move the cursor fast enough and lock onto it as much as possible. Quite hard to shoot them otherwise though. Yeah, they've done a lot of damage to the back of the Jeep. I'm in trouble there. I'm going to lose the back end of it before too long. What next? More Velociraptors, I assume. It's a big swarm of. There were, there were never this many Velociraptors in the movie. You don't even have to recharge when you when you're doing the lock-on thing. So it's uh, it's pretty. The whole thing's pretty easy so far. Oh, this goes on forever, though. Graphically, I mean, again, the textures are poor, aren't they, for the game? I would imagine. Um, it moves pretty, pretty smoothly, but it, it's, it's not really. Nothing about this is great, except the music. When, uh, when the music in the games isn't really the proper music from the movies. Um, obviously, the John Williams mu music from ET and uh, Jurassic Park is brilliant, and as is the uh, Alan Silvestri music from Back to the Future. All iconic tunes, it's great to have them in it, uh, even if it's going to cost me a load of copyright claim nonsense to, uh, to actually go through when this video is live or has gone live by the time you see it and uh, it just goes on and on and on just a swarm of like thousand velociraptors yeah it's looking bad still they come surely that's it now the jeep is not looking good no more velociraptors why not Oh, it's so boring. The Jeeps, I like, it's actually got damage on the Jeep to be fair. I can see damage on the front of the Jeep, so that's pretty cool. It's just so many Velociraptors, they couldn't even think of any variety in the enemies. It's just a load of Velociraptors. Oh, gotta hold the button. Which we're, oh, I'm driving up the back of a Brontosaurus or whatever it is. Which Let's way? Go. Which way? Right. Have I made it? Oh no, it's still going on. Oh, come on. More Velociraptors. I mean, I feel bad. I've, I'm, I've, wiped, I've made, basically making Velociraptors extinct again. Uh, hundreds of them. It's so dull. It's showing up the last time. It's still got almost all of my health left, so it's still going for a while. Please, do as much damage as you like. I mean, I suppose it'd be nice to complete it now I've got this far, but honestly, it's been going on for about 10 minutes almost now. You can have too much of a good thing, and this wasn't even a good thing to start with. Oh, T-Rex is back. Is this the grand finale now? I really hope so. I'm just doing a second lap now. I like how you can lock on, even when you can't see it. I don't know what kind of radar that's using, so I can, I can just keep locking on to this. Go on, seven shots. Weak points, okay. I mean, I don't know where I'm hitting it. I don't know if I'm hitting it where I want to. It's not even doing me any damage. It's just sort of running alongside me. Oh, this looks bad though. I was eating the kid, that'd be hilarious. That would have made this game worth playing. I didn't know. How many times would have hit it? Oh, the tail's the weak points. Comes again. 
again. Oh, game over. What a shame. Oh my god. That was painful. I mean, continue. No. Does it continue from where it left off? No, it goes right back to the beginning. Oh my god. Awful. Absolutely awful. It could have been a fun little game, but making it last like 10 minutes is just absolutely painful. I must be able to get out of this. Please let me get out of it. Please let me say I've got to play through it all again. Come on. That's enough of Jurassic Park. Okay, so I'm near the Back to the Future ride. There's another character to, uh, to talk to there, but I don't care. Let's get on and get this Back to the Future ride done, and then that will be the end of this video, which has gone on for way too long already. It's a horribly tedious game. Um, wandering around the theme park backwards and forwards getting lost is no fun. Take it from someone who's done it many times in real life. And... Uh, so let's go and talk to Woody Woodpecker. I guess we're not getting any closer to here. Yeah, I can't get in because there are too many people. I've got the hat on, by the way. I've already done that. Yep, the item you're wearing gives you unlimited access to this attraction. What do you want to do? Yes, I want to go in. Do you think you can catch Biff? I guess that's the aim of the game, then. We have a big problem. A bully named Biff... So, what have we got? Lorraine. Left and right button to drift, accelerate and brake, so it's going to be some kind of racing game. I hopefully, I'm going to be flying the DeLorean. Yep, yeah, so you've got to get in the DeLorean and chase Biff, who's also in the DeLorean. Accelerate, yeah, we get the idea. Basically, I've got to catch Biff. Let's get on with it. Okay, so... The DeLorean's here. We're off. Can we skip this? Of course we can't. Oh, right, okay, there we go. Biff's gone past in his DeLorean. Nice little lighting effect, I suppose, but probably not for the GameCube. Definitely not making the most of the console, it has to be said. I don't think the graphics are awful, but they're definitely not the standard of some GameCube games and PS2 games. Okay, so we're chasing Biff down and I don't know, I guess we've just got to catch him, have we? What have we got to do? Ah, uh, okay. Hey, it's Chase HQ in Back to the Future style. So you just got to chase him down and, and wear his energy down. Use the uh, shoulder buttons for drifting around the corners. I mean, I don't feel like I'm going anywhere near the speed you need to go hey, in a DeLorean. Up? I feel like I'm going about 25 miles an hour, but let's see if we can catch him. Oop, I know we will. So basically, it's a racing game uh, where you've got to, well, basically, it's Chase HQ. You've got to chase him down and, and wear down his health. You've got what some Back to the doing? Future music in the background. It's, 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 it's better than the other ones. I'll say that much. The control of the... Uh, DeLorean is pretty good. Um, it's responding to the analog stick quite nicely. Yeah! The speed is a bit lacking, but it, it, it's not too bad. It's doing the job. Oh, he's gone. He's going through the clock tower. What's happening now? We're going somewhere else. Back in time, maybe? Uh, well, if we're going back in time, we're, we're now in the Ice Age. So we're very far back in time. The music's gone as well, the uh, Back to the Future music's gone, it's just some generic music, unless it's a music from another film, could be. I'll find out when all the copyright claims go in for this video. What a waste of time this has been. I mean, I was intrigued by this, and now I, all the reviews are true. As I said, the, the concept is pretty sound, I think it could have been a fun collection, but what really lets it down, I mean the games are pretty hey, basic. Up? Um, but what really lets it down is the sort of hub world where you've got to wander around the theme park to get to them and do these mundane tasks and like track back and forward just to go and buy a hat okay? and stuff like that. It's just awful. And uh, moving from screen to screen on those weird sort of pre-rendered backgrounds is really strange as well. It's just, yeah, I don't know what they were thinking when they came up with this idea, but it was bad. Um, yeah, so I can't catch him okay? up at the moment about half his energy gone 
for about 30 seconds. Ooh, give him a bump there and oh, oh, I think we're going somewhere else now. I hope we get a bit more time at the next uh, stage. I'm running out of time. If only we had a time machine. Couldn't just time travel just in front of him. It's very hard to actually crash into him. Oh, there we go. So I've got 60 seconds, so I did get a bit more time. And we're now, I guess, in pre-Ice Age. We're now in well, Jurassic Park, or maybe Jurassic Park just after the dinosaurs were all made extinct. They're okay? uh, just flying over a couple of uh, It seems like a missed opportunity. We could have had a level go in, in the 50s um, and a level in the 80s. We got a level, I think, in the future in the first bit. Uh, but yeah, they, they, it's a missed opportunity. It's just some generic um, sort of nature theme levels. I've got 30 seconds, I've got a chance of, of hitting I need probably two more hits, three more hits maybe. One, one more hit here would be really useful. One close, yeah there we go. Maybe one more, it's going to be close. I mean it, it's the best of the games I've played and maybe some of the others are decent but somehow I doubt it. I need one more hit and I've got like eight seconds. It's going to be close. Yeah. Got him. Oh, he needs, I still need one more hit. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, that's annoying. That sums up the game as a whole. Just annoying. Continue. No thanks. That'll do for this one. So there you go. That was Universal Studios Theme Park or Parks Adventure. Uh, a bit of a disaster there. Interesting idea. Terrible execution. Uh, the games are quite boring the hub world is just incredibly frustrating so there you go let me know your thoughts about it in the video comments and that will do for this one because i've spent way too much time playing this game just way too much time that's another review in the bag then i don't think i'll be playing that one again too many times in the future so time to pick another game out of the tin at random for the next witch finders gaming vault video and coming out of the tin for the next game review is a Atari 2600 game it's Seahawk so that's what I'll be playing next time around join me for that in the near future and thanks very much for watching this video and I'll see you in another gaming video very soon bye for now